Tell us about EasyJet cancelling these 200 flights over 10 days. People must be absolutely livid. Uh, They are, and I'm afraid it's getting worse. Let me tell you exactly what's been happening. So over the past few weeks, um, we've seen the uh, Britain's biggest low-cost airline, that's EasyJet, having all manner of problems. The main one is actually a chronic shortage of resources. However, they've also had some bad weather and they had an IT failure on uh, Thursday, which caused um, uh, cancellation of 200 flights on that day alone. But the main problem has been that every single day for weeks, they've been making loads of ad hoc short notice cancellations. And typically what happens is you go to bed, you check your flight, it's all fine. You wake up at three o'clock in the morning to get your seven o'clock flight and uh, you've got a message saying your flight's been cancelled. This is so stressful, so upsetting, wrecking thousands of people's holidays. And so what they are trying to do is say, we're going to cancel all these flights, 240 of them, which I calculate could affect 40,000 passengers, all of whom have booked those flights in good faith. But they are now, uh, the, the idea is you cancel people's holidays now, that will mean that they uh, at least have some warning and they can do something about it. And of course, well, we can get on to air passenger rights, but everybody has the right to be booked on another flight, even if it's another airline at EasyJet's expense. Yeah. However, these haven't been enough. And so we've seen an awful lot of on the day cancellations today, mainly to and Terrible. from Gatwick. Um, for instance, the uh, Naples flight was um, it was. Uh, cancelled first thing this morning. I've heard other people heading for Ibiza. Um, And we're also seeing some domestic cancellations, say, between uh, Bristol and Edinburgh. So it's an almighty mess.